Emma Tanayuka. Emma Tanayuka was born in 1916 in San Antonio, Texas. She was encouraged by her grandparents to get involved in politics. Growing up, she felt divided by the different ethnicities in her household because her mother was descended from Spanish colonizers and her father's ancestors were native. As a freshman, she joined the League of United Latin American Citizens, an organization that promoted assimilation. She credits her acceptance to being light-skinned because of her Spanish colonial ancestry. When she was 16 years old, she joined the Young Communist Party because it welcomed people of all races. This led to her joining the Workers' Alliance of America. She obtained a major in education from Our Lady of the Lake University in Texas and taught bilingual education at Harlandale Independent School District until she retired in 1982. She led the largest strike in the history of San Antonio. Pecan shelling factories there had terrible conditions with overcrowding, only one bathroom, and poor ventilation, which led to many cases of tuberculosis. She rallied the pecan shellers on the picket lines, becoming a leader for the movement, which caused many to think of her as a radical. She pushed for labor rights and equal pay, and the strike she held was an important victory for Mexican Americans in their struggle for equality in the United States. She earned the nickname of La Passionara, or the Passionate One, from the working poor of San Antonio that she advocated for. Here she can be seen in Bexar County Jail, waiting with her attorney for her trial, and at a Workers' Alliance protest outside San Antonio City Hall in 1937.